What is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today I'm bringing you guys another episode of Forza Motorsport 5. Now, let me just get this right out of the way and say that a, a little while ago, a few minutes ago, I was trying to record some um, multiplayer drifting for you guys, but for some reason, there are so many trolls in multiplayer today, it's like nobody was driving uh, clean. People would spin out and then back up right into the middle of the track and wait for people to smash into them. I had one guy that just kept chasing me around and hitting me exactly when I was when I was about to bank a combo. It was it was pretty bad. But um we put that behind us because we're going to continue the career where we left off with the Fiat 500 at Barth and finish or at least try to finish um some of the races left in the uh, Super Mini class. Now, if you remember from last time, I promised that there were no more uh, rewinds, and I'm I'm keeping that promise to you guys. I'm keeping that promise. So, uh, continuing, no more rewinds whatsoever. In fact, in to make sure that I can't rewind, I'm going to go into the difficulty and uh, set it to uh, turn rewinds completely off. In fact, wait, no, hold on. Assists. Can you turn it off? No, you can't. Rewind is always on, I guess. Well, I guess I'll just have to not use it. Which is fine with me. I just wanted to make sure, like, I just wanted to see if it was possible for me to just completely turn it off. Which I guess it isn't. Alright, let's go! Alright, in a second. Starting off this autocross run. Never been the best at autocross, uh, back in Forza 4, but then again, I didn't practice it very much, I didn't do it a lot, and I know some people were really good at it. So I know it's possible to be- oh, jeez, whoo, that was close. Focus, focus, focus. Dang, whoa, that's a weird direction change. Oh my god, that is a wide turn. Or sharp turn. They make you turn so sharp right there. Dang. Come on. Dang it, I messed up that gear change. Dang it. Now we can really put the power down. Oh god. I, uh, uh, I was going the wrong way. I didn't even realize where the cones were. This is tight. This is... Yeah, I messed that up. I knew I was going to kind of mess it up because that is so, that was so tight back there. Target for gold is 2 minutes and 30 seconds, so I don't know if I'll be able to do that, seeing as I don't have the clock on. Dang it, I messed up that gear change again. Why? Why do I keep messing up that gear change? Come on, there we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Holy crap, that is sharp. And they have you going down to first most of the time. Luckily, this 500 Abarth has really, really good um, traction out of the corners, so you can actually get out of the hole pretty fast. Whoa! Oh, dang it, I got a penalty. A five-second penalty? Are you serious? That's a huge penalty. Like, I mean, a really huge penalty. Almost there, almost there. I can't even see the clock. I don't know what time I'm going to have. Come on, power, come on. There we go. 222. So even with two penalties, I was able to get that in time. Dang. That was actually really intense because I didn't have the race timer on at all. I just had the drift HUD on. Love the front end of that, of that of Barth. And look at those carbon fiber wheels. Oh my god. So gorgeous. But I was really lucky to get gold on that. Because like I said, I'm not the best autocrosser out there. Nowhere close. Nowhere close. Although that was pretty short. So let's see what we're, where we're going next and what they're going to have us do next. Hopefully it'll be like a big circuit race. Because I'm in the mood for like a big circuit race right now. Oh yes. Spa Frankerchamps. This is going to be awesome no matter what it is. I don't care what it is. You give me this track, anything's going to be awesome here. I don't care if it's a chase event, a signature event, a 
huge circuit event and autocross just put me on Spa Frankershamps and I'm happy. It's my favorite track in Forza 5. Absolutely love this place. I mean, you guys, you guys probably already know that it's my favorite track because I keep saying it every time. But I can't get over how much I love this track. It's just that good. It really is just that good. Wonder how fast we'll be able to get this little 500 up to on the back straight. Well, I don't know if it's really the back straight or the front straight. Depends on which angle you're looking at it from. Alrighty, come on, let's get this thing revved up. Go! Hooked up pretty nicely. Go, 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 go! You slow down. Down to first. Oh, jeez, sorry, Fiesta ST. Dang it, did I mess up that gear change? I think I did. I thought I heard it grind. Whoa, that was weird. That was really weird. The back end came around all of a sudden, weirdly. And get out of my way. Why are you blocking me? I've got a, a Fiesta ST in front of me blocking me, and then I've got another Fiesta ST behind me ramming into me. So it's like there's nowhere to go. Goodbye, 500. Come on, come on, about to pass this Citroen. Into fifth. So, whoa, that 500 up Arth just did another stoppy. If you guys remember that from the last- What the? He just went in front of me on two wheels. That was so crazy. Oh my god, that was so weird. I have never seen a drive a do that. He went up on two wheels, drove in front of me, and off the track. I have no idea why he just did that or what was going through the AI's brain when that happened, but jeez, I don't know why the Drivatar did that. That was so freaky. I don't even know. That was weird, guys. That was just weird. If, it, if that's anything like that's ever happened to any of you, let me know because I want to know if my Drivatar is like really weird and messed up and crazy or something. Like all the Drivatars on my friends list are just messed up and crazy. Sliding it, sliding it. Nice, nice. Let's focus, focus. Down to third. Down to second. Oh, come on. Look out, Fiesta ST. I got a Citroen to catch. Dang it. Come on. Whoa. Come on. Dang, he's quick. He's pretty quick. Give me a run for my money on the straight. That's for sure. Whoa, he just hit me from the side. I didn't even expect that. Getting a little bit sideways using the front wheels to bring it back. Stay to the inside. Yes. And start braking. Do not... I, I knew it. I was like, do not try to take the inside on me. Do not try to take the inside on me. I knew he was going to do it, too. I knew he was going to try it. Come on. And even though these things aren't really that fast, like in a straight line, it's really fun to just rev them out. Just let them go all the way to red line, and then shift it, and all the way to red line, and then shift it again. You can actually go through more gears, like, well, not more gears, but you can enjoy the gears longer than in something like, you know, something that's just insanely fast around here, where you're in each gear for, like, a split second. Um, because in this, you can, like, really let the gear go all the way and enjoy the whole gear and then shift again and enjoy the next gear. It's really cool. It's, I don't know. It's a really cool feeling that you get from a fast, hot hatchback, I think. Oh, he's gaining on me. That's not good. Come on. Oh, there we go. There we go. 
leave it in second. Use the front wheels to pull me back out. Getting used to that technique now. Been starting to use it quite a bit. To let the back end go and then let the front wheels pull me back around. He's trying to take it way on the inside. Come on, let the front wheels pull back around. There we go. Oh god, I messed up that gear change again. Weird. Come on. Come on. Oh god. Ooh, that was a little further than I wanted to go. And he passed me because of it. That's not good. No rewinds, though. No rewinds. I don't even remember if I've used any so far. I don't think I have. Because, I mean, I know I said I wasn't going to, but I hope I haven't, like, me messed up and used one and then forgotten I used one. Mm-mm, not today. F not today, Fiesta ST. Mm-mm. Go, 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 go. Come on. I gave you more power for a reason. Now go. Catch the Citroen. Come on. Oh, closing in. Starting to close in now. Trying to draft off of him. Whoa, he braked. Okay, that's not good. I, n I usually never break for that corner in this car. When I'm in like a hot hatchback or something, I never break for that corner. And uh, he decided to. Now I've got quite a bit of damage. I can't let that uh, focus, not focus, but Fiesta ST take me. And yeah, I know I cheated a little bit on that corner, but at least I didn't rewind. Yeah, the car's pulling to the right. He braked right in front of me. Pretty much brake checked me, and now the car's pulling to the right, and it's really weird. Really weird. But at least I was able to win that one. No rewinds. No rewinds. And yeah, that's what happens when the AI is like un unable to comprehend what's going on with your steering. He lost his whole front bumper. He must have been the dude that went in front of me on two wheels. Well, not bad. Almost 10,000 credits. Come on, man. Come on. Wow, that's a lot more XP than I expected to get. Well, not a lot more. I expected... I didn't expect it to go up that much. Alright, where do we go next? And what do we do next? We head back for another event in his Prague Short Reverse. This will be fun. I like the Prague Circuit quite a bit. I mean, for... Dr well, drifting, circuit racing, it's a really... It's a really nice track because it's open. It's, like, it's pretty much two lanes almost everywhere. Uh, well, I say almost. Some, there's one section that's really tight, but most, uh, sections are, like, completely open, two lanes, with a little bit of runoff area before the walls, uh, before you hit the walls on either side, so it's a really nice, wide open track. I remember, I remember racing this version online, short, uh, Prague Short Reverse. Yeah, I remember this. Oh, it's a, what, it's a track day? Sweet! Overtake as many cars as possible. Get that up both revved up and ready to go. And hook it off the line. There we go. Dang it, did I mess up that shift? I'm not sure if I'm like... Huh. I can't really, like... I don't know, I can't totally hear that or not, like, whether I'm doing that because my volume's a little bit low, but I don't know if it's just in my mind that I'm paranoid that I'm gonna mess that shift up or not. I don't know. Actually, one second. I'm gonna turn off my Drift HUD so I can see how many cars I've passed. Let's see, Drift HUD off, except... Ah! I mean, I promised I wouldn't use any rewinds, and I'm not going to, even though I spun it. These passes probably don't count. If I pass them again a second time, they probably don't count. Oh, no, they do count. Really? That's interesting. Sorry. 
Whoa, dang it, I keep hitting everything. Come on, there we go, there we go. And I remember this corner from the online race that I did. It's really, it's deceivingly uh, sharp. It really is deceivingly sharp. And if you're not ready for it, it will bite you. It will destroy your race. Oh, 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 come on. Really? Now I have to drive. Actually, you know what? I don't like driving it with a broken windshield at all, so I am going to drive in third person. For the very first time in a circuit race in Forza 5, I never drive in third person, but I know some of you guys have been requesting it, so I'm going to give it a shot. And uh, let's hope I don't do too badly, but I'll give you guys a fair warning right now. I suck at third person. I See? I suck at third person. I, I It's hard to judge corners in third person for me. It's hard to judge passes in third person for me. I mean, I am a first-person view driver. There's just, that's the long and short of it. I am a first-person view driver when it comes to circuit racing, when it comes to, whoa, 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 when it comes to drifting, circuit racing, everything in Forza, everything. I am a first-person view driver. I cannot drive that well at all in third person, as I'm sure you guys have seen so far. Come on. Oh, jeez. Come on. That's 17. One more traffic car and I can get gold. Oh, jeez. Please let me get gold. There it is. There it is. There it is. But there's the finish just after it. No! Oh, dang it. I was so close. No, 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 no. Oh, man. But I will admit, it's. I think it's actually more interesting and more fun without the rewinds. Because then you have to deal with the fact that you've got a damaged steering rack. And deal with the fact that your drive line is, is, is a little bit screwed up. And it just makes the game more interesting. It's not like it's just perfect every time. I'm getting close to level 29. Well, actually getting quite close to level 30. Two races remaining. Let's see if we can get those finished. Alright, where are we going next? And what are we doing? Because I'm hoping for... Hmm, I don't know. I'm hoping for maybe another circuit. And the historic Sebring International Raceway. I don't... I, you know what? A lot of people are a fan of Sebring. I'm actually not. I don't... I'm not a big fan of Sebring for some reason. It's just never been uh, one of my favorite tracks. It's just... It just never has been for some reason. It, I, I never... Um, there are some tracks that I feel like I connect with and other tracks that I feel like I don't. And, I mean, Sebring, it's okay. You know, I can race on it and I've done well on it before. It's just not one of those tracks that I really, really connect with. Like, oh, I really love this track, if you guys know what I mean. I'm sure you guys have, like, that same opinion on other tracks. You know, maybe you really, really like Sebring, but you don't like, I don't know, Bernie's Alps. But, I mean, that's pretty much the exact opposite for me, because I love Birdie's Alps. Come on. Give me that, uh, I don't know, what, a four-cylinder turbo power? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, jeez. I gotta stop barreling into corners like that when there's a big pack of cars. Because I'm used to being able to barrel in and then rewind, and then barrel in and then rewind again to kind of figure out where I want to put my line. But I can't do that anymore. Uh. Oh, get it back on the track. No, 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 that magnetic grass will get you. Dang, this is really close racing right now. This is like some of the closest racing I've ever done in Forza 5, at least. Break. Oh, break, 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 break. Into third. Come on. Messed up that shift a little bit. Passing the wooden abarth. Uh, dang, that's close. Oh, 
Oh, out of my way, uh, Fiesta ST. I keep calling it a Focus ST when it's a Fiesta ST for no apparent reason. Gotta get into the top three. And once I pass him, I will be in the top three. Come on. See you later. Yes. I'm done with you. Later. See you later. All right. So now we can chase down the leaders. Dang it, messed up that shift. Okay, go, 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 go. Get past this dude. Come on. There we go. Yes, goodbye, Citroen. Yes. Can we touch 130? 130. Uh, 133, right before I had to break for this corner. Well, there goes the back end. Shouldn't have I should have actually waited a little longer before I brought it back. Not that it was a horrible, like, de decision to actually bring the, the back end in at that point, but I feel like I should have waited just a little bit longer to bring the, fr uh, the back end back around. Since you've got a little bit more leeway with it, with a front-wheel drive car, you don't have to worry about it as much. Uh, that was a little bit of understeer that I didn't want. Uh-uh. Not letting you through. No way. Not letting you through. Once I'm in first, I will not let anybody pass. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. I am going to completely block you out of first place. Completely. That's why sometimes people hate racing online with me because I completely block out any opportunity to pass at all. <gasps> oh, that's a little too much speed, I think, into that corner. Well, maybe not. I was really worried that I was going off the track. I really was worried that I was going to completely go off the track, but whoo, thank God I didn't go off the track. Wow. That would have been horrible. <laughs> all right, start braking. Actually, that was too early. I remember the braking points for f much faster cars here. Like, I've been, I've been racing much faster cars here for so long that I'm remembering their braking points and not the braking points for something, uh, for something a little bit slower like this. And, you know, keep in mind, it's not a slow car, but it's not, you know, a fast, you know, super fast car either. Mm-mm. No. No, Fiesta ST. I refuse. I refuse to let you by. No way. He's really trying, though. He's getting aggressive back there. Wow, he really dropped way back in that cornering section. Gave it a little too much power mid-corner and got some torque steer. Not torque steer, but understeer. Power understeer. See if we can beat that 133. No, no, no. Breaking at 133 again. <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. Wow. Okay, that was horrible. That was absolutely horrible. I don't know how that happened. I have never messed up that bad in a race before. That is a huge fail. That is a huge, huge fail. Jeez, that that's bad. That was really that was really bad. I have never I have never messed up a finish that badly before. Hopefully I can redeem myself on the next one because that was horrible. <laughs> I don't know. I've never. I. I don't feel like I've ever messed that. Uh, messed any, any race up that badly in Forza before. But then again, I haven't always been. Uh, been playing completely without rewinds. So. I mean, six thousand credits. Not bad. Good race. Horrible ending. I mean, that was like. <laughs> that was like a total idiot moment. Oh, level 29. Level 30 is next. Sweet. I think we have one more race for this series. We should have at least one more race for this series.
Yeah, we have one more race. Where are we going to go? We return to Switzerland. Oh, yes. It finishes in the Alps. Thank God. My favorite track. Oh, yes. This is going to be awesome. And I promise I will not smash into a random wall right before the finish line. That was just bad. I don't ever want to do it. I don't ever want to let that happen again. All right. Can't wait to drive my 500 up Arth here. It's just... It's just the best track in Forza. The best track in, like... I mean, some people would say Fujimi Kaido, um, or would argue with me that Fujimi Kaido is the best, but... You know what? I kind of feel like Fujimi Kaido and Bernese Alps, they just kind of tie for me. In, in, in sheer fun factor, the two tracks tie for me. Fujimi Kaido and uh, Bernese Alps, they're just the best tracks in Forza, along with the Nürburgring. Which, unfortunately, two out of those three tracks are not in Forza 5 yet. So, I mean, the Nürburgring... It should have been in the game from launch. That The Nürburgring is something that we should have had right off the bat. And Fujimi Kaido, do I really have to say? I mean, do I really have to say anything about Fujimi Kaido? Fujimi Kaido... Fujimi Kaido should have been the number one track they worked on to put it on the disc for the launch. That is just... It's kind of inexcusable that they didn't put Fujimi Kaido on the disc at launch. But, I mean... I don't know. Maybe they want to rework it. I don't know. Hopefully they just do like a, a remastered version and you know have a have like the same corners, the same sections, but just graphically remastered when they eventually put it back in the game as what will definitely be DLC. I mean, if they give us I mean, let's say it wasn't ready. Let's say Fujimi Kaido wasn't ready for launch. If they give us Fujimi Kaido for free and say like as a free DLC and be like well we should have had this on the disc at launch but we didn't and you know it needed a little bit more work so we're going to give it to you for free as DLC I'd be completely fine with um with a free uh, Fujimi DLC who's been hitting me it's the f freaking Fiesta ST apparently uh, apparently God's drivatar then he brake checks me right in front right in front he gets in front of me and then brakes I hate it when, when AIs do that, or not AIs, but Drivatars, or when anybody does it, anybody online, it's just like, that's a really annoying thing to do, and a really mean thing to do, to get in front of somebody and then break, it, uh, I just, eh, it's not, it's, it's not what you do. Oh god, really? God, these Drivatars, they break way too much, and they mess up my line. You little Wow, he came out of nowhere and literally just smashed into me with no regard for anything whatsoever, barreled into that corner, smashed straight into me. Yeah. How's that genius Drivatar system working for you, turn 10? Come on. Really having to drive hard to try and work my way back up the pack now. And really hoping that no Drivatars tries to spin me out now. Because if they, if Drivatars are going to do nothing but spin you out, then that's just as bad as it is as online racing. Come on, down the hill, down the hill. Man, these Fiesta STs, though, they've been the number one... Um, cars that have been coming out of nowhere and smashing into me. The 500 Abarths, they've been kind of, you know, just kind of racing clean. These Fiestas, oh my god, they're brutal. They, they do not, uh, they do not pull any punches, these Fiestas. They, uh, they come out of nowhere and slam right into you. So, yeah, you gotta kind of watch it. Whenever you're in a race with, uh, with somebody in a Fiesta... Uh, as their Drivatar. I mean, EK Drifter 458's Drivatar has smashed into me way more times than I than I would prefer. Uh! And see, their breaking points are so early that they that even if you have a line that you like to take through a corner, 
they, they really don't even care. They'll just take their own line right in front of you and take their own breaking line. They don't even know that someone's behind them and proceed to mess up your race completely. And I know I feel like I'm kind of ranting about the Drivatar, but it's, it's a little bit of a rantable subject, uh, to be honest. Breaking, breaking, breaking. There we go. Get right... What? He hit me again. There we go. I mean, looks like another silver finish for me, but still. Those Drivatars. God. I mean, I don't know if they're like... If it like takes their data but adds a little bit of AI into it and is like... You know, and the AI is programmed to... Uh, mess up your race. I don't know what the deal is with that, but uh, those driver charts are just way too aggressive. Way too aggressive, and they need to be toned down, I think. At least in a title update or something, tone down how aggressive the driver charts are, because I don't know, maybe you guys will agree with me on that, but I honestly really feel like the driver tar, uh, ag the aggressiveness of the driver tars really needs to be toned down. Alrighty, come on. Come on, then, so I can go ahead and uh, finish this little series, this little uh, race series. And I don't know if we, like, get anything for it other than a trophy, but we'll see. I hope we do. I hope, honestly, I hope we do. hope we get something for it. I mean, I know they're not going to give us a car, but they might give us a credit bonus. 12,000 extra credits. Eh, it's uh, not bad. I would expect more, but completely finished it, though. Now, what do I want to do next? Uh, maybe something, maybe actually something vintage. Let's see what's in there. Uh, we've got Classic Sport Compact, Grand Touring Legends, uh, American, uh, American Motorsport, American Street Muscle, Classic Super Mini. Classic Super Mini would be fun, but I'm thinking about, you know what? I'm thinking about going for, um... Going for one of these muscle car classes. So, if you guys enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys later.